how to measure the analytics on your posts on your LinkedIn company page. Today I'm going to show you how to check out the new analytics that we have available to us on our company page posts over on LinkedIn. So these are for company page posts. These are not for your personal profile posts. Those have got different analytics. So my name is Louise Brogan. I am the host of LinkedIn with Louise and I love creating content to help you leverage LinkedIn. So this is the back end of my LinkedIn company page and you know it's the back end because it says admin tools here and a viewers member would show you what it looks like if I was not in the back end. So I've got the super admin view over here. So we have other content on this channel that will talk to you about all these different um, measurements you can have on your page. What we're going to look at today is the analytics on your posts. So I'm going to scroll down to a post that I created yesterday on my LinkedIn company page. So my page is LinkedIn with Louise. Come and follow me there. Let's get that number up to a thousand. That'd be really cool. And this is the post that I did. So I did a poll because I wanted to experiment and see if polls still have good traction on company pages. And the post is the kind of length of post that I like to write. Um, introducing a topic, asking a question, and then inviting people to engage with the question. So do you have a LinkedIn company page? Yes, share it below, not yet. Do you need one? Other, let me know below. So what we're interested in here is the organic performance view analytics. So let's click on this. And I don't have paid analytics on here because that would show a different measurement. And this is where we go now. So this is brand new. So post analytics, there's the post, targeted to all followers. So if we went back, you could see that you can share your post to a specific group of people. But I'm targeting all followers. The organic discovery, 387 impressions, 233 unique impressions, all right? And then the organic engagement. So this has got 45 engagements and that's the measurements here. 11.6, which is a really good engagement rate for a LinkedIn company page post. So let's look at the measurements. So the number of clicks is 24. The click through rate is 6%. Now I'm just going to take you back to the post quite quickly because I want you to understand and what that means in terms of a click. So um, clicking is when you click on the votes. Also, um, it's not showing here, but when you click on the see more button, that is counted as a click as well, okay? So let's get back to, see this is where LinkedIn plays funny, funny with us, like, oh, where's my analytics gone? <laughs> to go find the analytics. Back. So that's so funny. It's, it, LinkedIn, for all its brilliance, is not the easiest website to use sometimes. So click through rate is 6%, and then we've got reactions, comments, and there were no shares, unfortunately, because we could dive into those analytics, but comments and reactions. So let's click on the reactions over here, it's a little arrow. And oh, let's show us the reactions, there we go. It's just taking a little bit of time to, to keep up to the speed we're delivering at here. So the reactions are the highlights. So this is the person that is seen as the highlight of my reaction, deemed by LinkedIn. And here we go. You can see people by reactions, job titles, locations. So basically the people who reacted are these people down here. Reactions is when you click on the thumbs up or the like or the heart or the support button. Let's see what job titles they had. So geophysicist, director of growth, national sales director and others. Um, what locations were they in? Grand Rapids, uh, Greater Philadelphia, Greater Reading and others. What industries are they in? So this is important because if you're targeting a specific industry, you want that to be key. Um, so mine's completely split across the board. That's so funny. Um, but if you're trying to attract healthcare marketing people, you'd want it to be at least 75% this one here. Um, seniority, great senior and director level and company size. Uh, this is one to 10 employees. 25% are from 11 to 50 and 25% of 51 to 200. So my target market is 
um, the small to medium sized companies between 11 and 200. So that's good numbers for me. Um, so it's just really interesting. So that is that is only the reactions. Um, then we can go into the comments here. And oh, come on, chop chop LinkedIn. Okay, so the highlights of the comments are a co-founder in computer network security industry. Ooh. And job titles, let's see, seniority, 53% senior. Senior at um, in LinkedIn is not actually the top level. Um, C-suite, that's excellent, 24%, and director, 18%. Entry level, 6%. So it's a good mix. Um, company size, so slightly larger companies, there you'll see. Um, and we actually want the comments, and the locations are Washington, Grand Rapids, Greater Philadelphia, Belfast, and Greater Reading. Show all. Uh, others just says others. <laughs> but aren't these interesting metrics for us to see? So you can see impressions. Just to dive into this information is just interesting. Um, because you know you want to have a strategic approach to your LinkedIn company page. And how do you know if you're hitting the mark if you don't actually look at your analytics? So I hope you have found this useful. Um, please leave a comment below. Please share um, the video if you think someone found it useful. And thanks for watching.